What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Parlay Buddy Show. We are here with your Week 15 free premium picks. Now, before we get into it, I just want to remind you that you can find us on all social media platforms, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Reddit, and Twitter. You can also head over to ParlayBuddy.com. There you'll find sports articles, a profitability calculator, daily fantasy sports tools powered by StatShark.com. You will also find the rest of our NFL premium picks and now our NBA premium picks as well. And as you found us on YouTube, you can also hit that like and subscribe button and we would greatly appreciate it. Now without further ado, let's get into the week 15 picks. Our first game we're going to look at this week is a division rivalry featuring the New Orleans Saints and the Atlanta Falcons. The line for this game has been set at 43.5 and, and on that line we are taking the under. The Saints have hit the under in 7 of 13 games this year, including 5 of their last 6. They really struggle offensively. Uh, they currently rank 22nd in the league in rushing yards, and they only average 20.4 points per game. Uh, Alvin Kamara just isn't quite producing as much as people expected that he would. Andy Dalton, on the other hand, also only has two touchdowns to go with three interceptions in his last two games, and they have 21 turnovers as a team this season. At best, they're a bubble team, and they really are just struggling. On the other side of the ball, the Falcons have hit the under 7 of 13 times as well, including four of their last five, and they've scored two touchdowns or less in eight of their 13 games this season. They do have a new quarterback starting this week in Desmond Ritter. It'll be really tough for him, you know, being a rookie quarterback, this being his first start. Granted, there is not a lot of pressure, but that doesn't necessarily translate to them putting up a lot of points. And for these two stagnant offenses going up against each other, that is why this week we are taking the under for this matchup. Our second game this week actually is a pretty interesting matchup with the Chicago Bears and the Philadelphia Eagles. The line for this game has been set at 48.5, and, and on that line we are taking the over. Now I say this matchup is interesting because you have two extremely mobile and talented quarterbacks in Justin Fields and Jalen Hurts. The Bears have hit the over 9 of 13 games this year, including 7 straight weeks now. Uh, they have scored three touchdowns or more in six of 13 games, and they actually rank first in the league in rushing yards thanks to the two-headed monster of Justin Fields and David Montgomery. On the flip side, the Bears' defense does rank 29th in the league, which is not going to be good for them going up against a high-powered Philadelphia offense. Um, Philly is easily one of the top teams in terms of you know offense and projected to win the Super Bowl. Uh, they have hit the over in 9 of 13 and 7 of their last 8. They've scored 3 or more touchdowns in 11 of 13 games this year, and they do average 29.7 points per game, which is astounding at this point in the season. They also average 162.2 rushing yards per game, which is good enough to make them the second most rushing yard team. And their offense, in terms of passing, also ranks in the top half. So you throw together two really good rushing offenses in a December game where running tends to be more common. There's going to be a decent chance that a lot of points get put up, especially from Philadelphia. And that is why this week we are taking the over for this one. And the final game we're going to look at this week is the New York Jets and the Detroit Lions. The line for this game has been set at 44, and on that line we are taking the over. The Jets have actually kind of resurrected, you know, their offense a little bit now that Mike White has been playing, and he actually does look like he's going to play despite having his soul almost taken from his body last week on that hit. The Jets have hit the over in five of 13 games this year. However, they have hit it in two of their last three, and they've also scored three touchdowns or more in five games this year, and they've scored 22 or more in six of their 13 games. Zach Wilson has been promoted to backup quarterback. He was originally the third string behind Joe Flacco, but now they've moved him up to number two. But like I said, Mike White is projected to play, and as long as he's not terribly in pain, he's going to be suitable, especially against a Detroit Lions defense that is one of the worst in the league. 
The Lions have actually hit the over in 9 of their 13 games this year and are averaging 26.8 points per game. Their offense has been absolutely astounding. Uh, if you remember a couple weeks ago, I said that they might struggle a little bit. They proved me wrong. They put up 40. Um, Jared Goff kind of has that team ticking offensively. If only they could tick defensively, they'd actually be a really solid team. Um they do allow 26.7 points per game, and that ranks actually second to last in the league. So with the Jets coming in, scoring a decent amount, the Lions scoring a decent amount, and the Lions defense just not being good, there's potential for a lot of points to be scored this game, and that's how we see it going. So that is why this week we are taking the over. And that concludes your Week 15 free premium picks from ParlayBuddy.com. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, check us out on all social media platforms, Facebook, TikTok, Reddit, Instagram, and Twitter. Be sure to head over to ParlayBuddy.com to check out the various sports articles, the daily fantasy sports tools powered by StatShark.com. You can also find the profitability calculator, and you can find your NBA premium picks. And if you're watching us on YouTube, please hit that like and subscribe button. We would love it if you did. Until next week, have a good one. Thank you.